couple of days ago, a new filing was revealed with the FCC for a new drone from DJI. Now, this new drone is apparently going to be called the DJI Air 2S. So, some kind of successor to the currently available Mavic Air 2. The first thing of interest to note is that the new drone is going to be dropping the Mavic name from the branding. So, just as the other drones recently that DJI have released have done, it will not be the Mavic Air 2S simply the DJI Air 2S. Just like we've currently got the DJI Mini 2, the predecessor for this was the Mavic Mini, and also their just released drone, the DJI FPV. So today we're going to be talking about how the Air 2S may improve upon its predecessor, the currently available Mavic Air 2. But before we do that, I would just remind you guys, if you are enjoying my videos, to please go ahead and drop a like today, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of future content. At this point then, it's seemingly looking to be the case that the main overall design of the Air 2S is going to be very similar to that of the currently available Air 2, right down to the fact that it will be using the same 3500 mAh batteries that the Air 2 currently uses, which is probably a good thing because it means that at least they'll be interchangeable. As a matter of fact, there's probably going to be more similarities between the Air 2 and the Air 2S than there are going to be improvements. Hence the reason why DJI are likely considering calling the new drone the 2S rather than calling it the Air 3, which does indicate a generational leap. However, one of the areas which does seem to be receiving some major improvements will be to the camera on the Air 2S. So currently, the Mavic Air 2 uses a Sony 48 megapixel sensor and it appears as if this is going to be increased for the Air 2S, which will include a Sony 64 megapixel camera. So of course this higher megapixel count will mean greater resolution images, but it should also, because of the larger sensor, provide better conditions for low light filming as well, which a lot of drone users, I think, would love to have. So late last year in November, there were some images released of an unreleased DJI drone. Now DJI have themselves said that we can't really count on these types of leaks because they often have multiple prototypes in the works, many of which will never see a retail release. But assuming for one moment that those leaked images were actually related to the so far unannounced Air 2S, it seems that one of the other changes that will be coming, one of the other improvements, will be the inclusion of additional obstacle avoidance. You know, obstacle avoidance seems to be one of those luxury features for drones. The more expensive the drone, the more of it they are likely to have. Take, for example, my Mini 2. I absolutely love this thing. But it's, let's be honest, in the more affordable category of DJI drones. And as such, the obstacle avoidance for this thing is a little bit more limited. It does have the... Uh, the, the downward obstacle avoidance, which is mostly used for landing, so that you don't go crashing the drone down into the ground, but it doesn't really have anything else. It does have some sort of holes here of some kind that perhaps they were planning to include front-facing obstacle avoidance, which never materialised, but lo and behold, that's all this drone has. Now, the Air 2, on the other hand, the current Air 2, does have those downward-facing sensors, but also those front-facing sensors, which is a great addition because I don't know the statistics, but I'm suspecting a lot of crashes are involved from the front, okay? The drone flying into things like trees or whatever the case may be. Now, the Air 2S, according to these leaked images, also includes those front-facing obstacle avoidance, but also has obstacle avoidance on the top as well. So that means that you would have three-directional obstacle avoidance from below, from in front and from above. It doesn't appear that you would get it from the sides or from behind, but I'm guessing that if that was the case, it would be pushing the price range of the Air 2S out of what most people would be wanting to spend. Again, I don't think DJI are going to be reinventing the wheel here with the Air 2S, but it does appear as if they are including enough improvements so that if perhaps like me, you're in the market for another drone, perhaps something similar to the Mini 2, but of the larger kind, then it may just be worth holding off right now to see exactly what is announced with the Air 2S. And finally, something that Drone DJ mentioned was the possibility of FPV support. Now, this is pure speculation, but it's a fun thing to talk about. So, of course, DJI have just released their dedicated FPV drone. And a lot of people, I think, were intrigued by the concept and want to play about and try FPV but don't really want to go ahead with a full-blown drone that's dedicated to it with all the acrobatics and all of that other stuff that comes along with that type of flying. 
But, you know, it would be a nice feature to have for some of our standard GPS drones. And since DJI are already selling their goggles separately, I wouldn't be surprised if some of their future GB, uh, GPS drones do actually include an option to use those goggles as an accessory. So maybe that's something we might start to see with the Air 2S, especially with that extra obstacle avoidance. It is perhaps something that the DJI might want to play about with. But anyway, I'm certainly intrigued by the DJI Air 2S and I'll be looking forward to learning more about it. But I am, of course, interested in hearing what you folks think so please do share your own thoughts down in the comments below. Please don't forget to drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed watching. And until next time, happy flying!